Hey, how's it going? So this is going to be my last one for tonight. I just saw this question and it looked so easy. I just couldn't help myself. This one only took me about 30 minutes as opposed to the last one taking me help from someone else and quite some time on top of it. Uh, so, right. This is called, does my number look big in this? A narcissistic number is a number which is the sum of its own digits, each raised to the power of the number of digits in a given base. In this kata, we will restrict ourselves to decimal base 10. Don't worry about that. That's just saying we're going to use standard numbers instead of binary or something. Examples would be 153. So if you split it up, 1 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 equals 1 plus 125 plus 27, which equals 153. So this one's narcissistic. All right, so our code must return true or false depending on whether the given number is a narcissistic number in base 10. And error checking for string text or other invalid inputs is not required. Only valid integers will be passed into the function. Right. So I already pre-wrote all my code here. Uh, this is what I used to pass it. So we're just going to go line by line. So obviously, we're going to start off as usual with that and that. All right, cool. So we know that whatever we're going to go through in terms of numbers, that it has to do a split. And they all need to be broken up and then multiplied times an exponent, which is the length of the actual thing itself. So we're going to go ahead and let x equal 0 and a second variable. Whoops, I'm not sure how it got over there. I'll never be satisfied. There we go. Equal 0. So obviously any small number like 7, you see how it says 7 is narcissistic? Well, you know, 7, you know, to the first power is just going to be 7. So any small number is going to be narcissistic. So what we're going to do is anything above 9 we'll apply something to. Else we're going to return true. So if it's 9, 7, 1, 5, they're all going to be narcissistic. So we're going to go ahead and leave that. And then let's say that they're bigger than that. Well, we're going to go ahead and take this, switch it to a string, and then split it. So x is going to be equal to the value, which is whatever they put in, turn into a string, and then split up into an array. Now, once it's into an array, we can go ahead and loop through it. So we're going to do for i equals 0, i less than x dot length, i plus plus. And this is where that second variable we put in is going to come in. This is going to be the thing that contains um, the actual added up number sequence like this. So we're going to do nw plus equals. So every time it loops through, it'll re-add to the total. Math.pow just means to the power of. So there's math.floor, math.random, this is math. to the power of. So it's just accessing what I assume is like a library. And then it's going to be argument one. And that's going to be what it's to the power of. So since we split it into a string, sure we do want to do x to um, array i. But we need to put number first, because that way it'll convert our string back into its number value. So instead of being, let's say, 3 with as a string, it'll be 3, the actual legit number. And we're going to raise it to the power to the length of the array, which is going to be equivalent to however many numbers there actually are. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to cut that off. So that was literally it. This was like the super easiest problem. So now all we're going to do is check if nw equals the original value. 
If it does, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. I mean, I guess I could have made this shorter. I don't know if I want to get into that. Um, and then all this was was the else from the beginning. I think I went over that, that if the value is less than 9, it's just going to go ahead and say it's true. I kind of want to try to make this shorter. But I'm going to save that. Um, so how would I write it shorter? Probably like that. Sure, I had that there for a reason. All right, let's just see if this works because I'm curious myself. So that matches that. What does this match? Huh. I'm just making a whole mess of this just by trying to do that one thing. Okay, so that goes there. There. Okay, good, now we're matched. Let's see if this works. A little bit shorter version. Curious. Turn, oh, I had a second return, my bad. Let's try it again. These videos are getting so short we have time to mess around a little bit more, especially with how easy this one was. Yeah, there we go. So it works like this too. This is a little bit shorter actually. I'm going to go ahead and save that. So that's the same if statement, just cut a little bit shorter. I'm sure there's ways to have shortened other stuff in here, but this is good by me. I am actually am going to submit that one. Um, as I found out, I don't get any more bonus XP. So it just updates my answer. Um, but yeah, so this works just fine. Uh, super, sim super simple problem. Uh, my last one for the night, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and take care.